Thanks for stopping by Al Hauman Art. Today we're going to talk about how to clean your uh, wet tile saw that we use to cut marini. Oh, we forgot something. We have a tile saw to clean up. If you don't clean up your tools, they don't last. So if you look at the bottom of the tile saw, you can see we have a lot of sludge in here. the plug just going into my five gallon bucket that's sitting under my tile saw you'll see the water drains out and you get all kinds of sludge and stuff that f falls out from your uh, under your saw so once this bucket's full we've got to empty it and in that bucket is all this sludge that uh, is basically the saw uh, residual from cutting all the glass so, we see all kinds of bits of glass that are scattered all across the uh, different uh, parts of your saw. It's pretty easy. What you do is you just pull off the back. You've got to read the instructions to understand this. And then I use this bucket with a hose uh, that I uh, repeatedly empty. So what's left in the bottom is uh, some pieces of glass that fell through. I scrape these chunks up and I either save them or I put it in the trash. It saves me having to throw it out later. So this residual glass isn't going to go away. So if I pour it onto the lawn, I get this white sludge on the lawn that can actually kill my lawn. It's not toxic, but it looks pretty yucky. California, you have to throw this stuff away. And so I live on a lake and I don't like to have all this stuff in my well or septic system. So what I do is let this settle out for several days. Then I uh, pump out the clear water above that I put on the yard. And then the sludge at the bottom I throw away. When I clean things I wash it over this uh, base as well. And uh, as you start washing this out with a hose you'll see that this uh, glass dust all rinses clean. So rather than removing the whole saw, which with a bad back I can't do, I uh, just empty these buckets that are under my uh, saw. So all the different parts that I've taken off the saw now are clean and then the residual uh, water that I used is sitting in this uh, basin that uh, I'll let settle for a few days and uh, then I'll dump it. So I put the parts back together so the last thing I do is I clean out my pump. I've got a, a jar full of fresh water. I take my pump. I submerge it. Then I turn on my saw and I'm going to flush through the pump for fresh water. Doesn't take a lot, but that way when my uh, saw is ready to use next time. My pump is clean as well as the rest of the saw. So the last thing I do is I put a cover over my saw. This keeps any water residual from uh, causing uh, rust in my shop and uh, keeps my tools clean as I do many other things in my studio. We'd like to thank you for uh, stopping by our uh, blog today. We appreciate your time. Uh, please check our website, www.alhalman.com, for uh, more of our blogs. We hope to post one or two of these a week. Again, thank you for your time, and I uh, hope you have a good day in your studio.